Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I'm going to be doing two different nails and I'm going to be using these beautiful leaf colours. I've just found these in my drawer and I don't think I've ever done a video with them. So I thought, um, zoom, there we go. Um, so I thought, why not do one today? So we've got lilac, is it called lilac? Yeah. So you've got a lilac one and then we've also got a pink one. They're both just stunning colours. So I thought it'd be good to do something with those two. So I'm going to be doing one with the lilac, one nail with the lilac, then one with the pink. So I'm going to be using, again, the Builder Gel from the Gelbox UK subscription boxes because they're just a beautiful colour. I'm going to be using, I don't actually know whether this is the same shade as the one that I got in the most recent box because the one that was in the most recent box does have a name on the bottom, whereas this one doesn't. This was one from a a couple of boxes ago so I'm not 100% sure what it's called but either way it's a beautiful colour Um, I'm going to pop this as my base colour for both nails Um, because like I said it's just perfect colour it just is the perfect base for any design any colour goes so well with this colour of builder which is obviously a bonus so I'm just placing it where I want it around about and then I'm going to pick it upside down, wait for it all to flow to the middle and then when I turn it back over again it will automatically sort of float where I need it to be. So I'm just waiting quite a while for it to get in the middle and then I'm going to flip it back over so you can see it's all bunched up there in the middle and then it will automatically just flow straight down the sides again. I'm just going to get my brush, bring it right up there, bring it just up a little bit from those side walls so they're not too thick. I have put a lot of product on. I wouldn't usually put this much on a client at one time because the heat for bike wouldn't be very good. Um, but obviously, with it being a display tip, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to pop that in the lamp. I'm just going to quickly do the exact same thing with this nail but off camera. So I'm going to be using two colours alongside these. I'm just going to show you while they're in the lamp. And these are the colours that I've chosen. So Girl Talk is the one on the left, which I'm going to use with the pink leaf. And then Violet Vibes is the other one that obviously I'm going to use with the lilac one. So one of these is cured now. So I'm just going to take it out of the lamp. And I'm going to apply some base coat to the nail just for something for the uh what's it called the leaf to stick to so i'm gonna apply it like in a would help if we were focused i'm gonna apply it in a like a rectangle sort of shape just to this area of the nail like so and then just straight down that's perfect and then this one we're going to apply the pink flake so i'm going to get my tweezers i do have a really like love hate relationship with foil like this sort of thing it drives me insane but at the same time it's it's lovely so it's, it's one of those it's worth fighting with to get the effect that it gives it's very pretty um and we're just going to basically place pieces within that area that i've applied the base coat I'm just ripping, I'm just tearing bits off with my tweezers and then applying that within that area where the base coat is. I do wipe my tweezers every now and then just to make sure that there's no base coat on my tweezers because that can make it a bit difficult to um, get the leaf off my tweezers basically. And then we'll put this in the lamp when we're happy with everywhere that we've placed the leaf. You can get lots of different coloured leaf from, I think I went a bit brave applying a, a piece this large. Um, but yeah, you can get quite a lot of different coloured leaves leaf from Sparkle Supplies UK. Um, so it's definitely worth having a look at all the different colours all the different colour options because there is a lot to choose from so I'm going to pop some more around here 
like that. And then a bit, that bit there, I'm going to put down here. And then probably just one more piece just here. Actually, one more piece, she said again, about here. And then once I'm happy, I'm just going to pop that bit round a bit. I'm just going to manoeuvre that so it's not sticking out as much. Like so. And then once I'm happy with it, which I am, I'm going to pop that into the lamp for a full cure to cure that base coat. I am just going to check for more angles, which I'm glad I remembered, to make sure that it is flat. Like so. And then I'm going to pop that into the lamp for a full cure. So obviously that's the one with the pink done. And now I'm going to do the one with the lilac. So the pink's like metallic pink. And then the lilac is more like a matte. A matte sort of effect. I don't know why I thought that picking this up with the tweezers would be a good idea. <laughs> there we go. So I've got my lilac one now. And then we're going to apply our base coat again. So this time I'm going to apply it somewhere, I didn't even turn the lamp on, I'm going to apply it somewhere different. So we're going to go up here this time. And I'm just going to do one swipe of the base coat, as straight as I can get it, or close to. And then just like that down there. And then again, just going in, picking up little bits of the leaf. And placing it into the wet base coat. This is really nice actually. I mean, it's annoying that it's, it's so reflective from the light. You can't really see it that well with the light shining on it, but it is very nice. It's a different, different effect to the pink. And then I get some smaller pieces to fill in the gaps. Turn that upside down. I mean that definitely doesn't want to be used so I'm just going to give up with that piece. Pop that bit there and a bit further up. There we go. It's really difficult to get it to focus on this one actually. I thought it'd be easier because it was more matte but obviously not. It's very reflective still, regardless. Maybe it's sticking up a bit. And then I'm going to pop some more there. Just smaller than that, there we go. And down the bottom corner, and then I'm going to start working on that left hand side. So just bulk that side up a little bit, but I've pulled most of this apart. Oh, that's the pink, I think, by accident. Um, I've pulled most of this apart between my fingers anyway, without even realising. It is quite difficult to tear, though, so that is handy. It's not handy when you place it somewhere you didn't want it, and you've got to get it off. That bit really is annoying, <laughs> but never mind. I'll sort it more in a second. I'm just dabbing it with my tweezers to break it up a little bit. Make sure I want a base coat on my tweezers, making my knife difficult. And then I'm just going to place one more piece. That bit there, and then this bit. Out there, like so. And if there's any bits on there that you don't want, I'm just going to get my nail art cleanup brush with a bit of acetone on, and I'm just going to go along that side area and remove any that I didn't want. There we go. So that's that. I'm going to get one more tiny piece just for that bottom bit to even it out a little bit, just about there. Perfect. So that's that one, how I want it as well. I'm going to pop that in the lamp for a full cure. Just 
just looking at it from all angles to make sure it's nice and flat first of all. There's one little bit sticking up, so I'm just making sure that's flat before I pop it in the lamp. And then I can put that straight in. So once this pink one is now done, let me just pop this back in there. Easier said than done. Um, so the pink one obviously is done. So what we're going to do is just go over it with some base coat to sort of like encapsulate that bit in. And then I'm going to pop that into the lamp for a full cure because we're going to be stamping over the top of the leaf. So it's much easier to do that when it's nice and smooth and we can get a good smooth surface for the stamping. So I'm just going to do the same for the lilac nail and just go down with the base coat again, make sure it's all nice and smooth. Looking for more angles, make sure I've got everywhere. Like so, and then when I have, I'm going to pop that into the lamp for full cure as well. So next I'm going to get my palette and I'm going to put some of my colour on. So obviously for this one I need my pink colour. So I'm just popping some of that on my palette ready to use straight away. And then I'm going to get my striper brush. Make sure it's nice and clean and there's no other colours on it. And then I'm just going to run it through my colour to make sure that the bristles are all completely covered in the polish. And then I'm going to draw lines around this rectangle of foil, of leaf even, not foil. And we're just going to go straight in, just a little bit wider than the foil. And just create a border. I've actually just had a new idea. I don't think I want to do this with flat colour. I think I'm going to do it with the Glamour Gel from Brill Bird because we've got a lilac sort of one here that would go... Would it go with this? Let's have a look before I commit to changing my mind. Yeah, it goes well enough. So I'm going to use the lilac one, the lilac one, believe it or not, and then the pink. There's quite a few different pinks in the Glamour Gel collection. So I'll show you all of them because I need to get them all ready anyway to see which one I'm going to use. Although I think off the top of my head I know which one I'm going to go for, but I'll show you the options anyway. Let me just sort them out. There we go. So we've got five Glamour Gels in pink. This is what they all look like. I think this one's going to be the best. That's the one I'm going to go for, yeah. So I'm going to go for Glamour Gel 4. So I need to get 4 and 7 out. I think it would be a bit more exciting having them um, encased in that instead. So I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to get my clean-up brush that I use and I'm just going to take off the pink that I've just applied to the pink nail. So I'm just going to go down on that and just remove that gently like so and then I'm going to apply these gels instead so we've got Glamour Gel 4 which is the one I'm using for the pink which looks like this it is absolutely beautiful so that's the one I'm going to use for this one I'm just going to clean up my brush again just to make sure it's not got any of that pink left on it still. And then I'm going straight in with the Glamour Gel. So I'm just going to put some on my brush first things first. And then I'm going to place this on here. So let's get going. The only problem with this is it's difficult to work thinly with it, but we're going to give it a go. I'm just going to do a little bit of a line at a time and just keep working at it. A fly has just entered my room. I don't know about anyone else, but flies really, really bother me. Like, they're so annoyingly loud. They drive me insane. So I'm just going to give this a little tidy up. I took it a bit wide at the bottom half. I'm just going to 
push it in ever so slightly. I don't know whether to do a thicker line to be honest now that I'm using glitter so it's easier to see it. A bit more obvious. leaf really isn't the best thing to film a video with because it is so reflective there we go yeah i think i am going to go that little bit thicker because we're using glitter getting it where i want it first of all and then i'm going to go in pick up a little bit more glitter and add it on when the line is where i want it to be and i just need to do the bit across the top A bit so it's the same thickness as those side lines. That fly is really irritating me. And then again, I'm just going to give that side, that right hand side, a little clean up. Like so. And then I'm going to pop that into the lamp for a full cure. And then I'm going to do the same thing again, but with the lilac this time. So I'm just going to clean off my nail art brush so I don't contaminate the lilac one. And then we're going to go in with this one. I'm just going to use my tweezers to take this lid off as I get covered in it. I do typically tend to mix them up before I use them, like on a client and stuff, but I'm too lazy when it comes to just doing net display tips. So again, I'm going in with this, creating the outer lines. I love this colour, it's beautiful. And going across the bottom. Down the side. Meeting them up in that corner and then just the other side to do. Just getting it down majority and then sort it out properly afterwards. Like so. Very pretty. And then I'm going to pop that into the lamp for a full cure as well. And I'm going to move on to the last step, which is a bit of stamping. And I'm going to use the plate that I use more often than any. And it is this one. It is a Mother Nature collection one from Mo Yu and it's number 15. I use this plate literally all the time. Like it's got to be my, definitely by far my most used plate. I absolutely love it. It's just perfect for all year round. Um, so I'm going to use this and I'm going to be stamping with white polish. I'm going to use the Mo Yu one as always for my stamping. Um, I need to get the lid on these leaves and then I also need to get some kitchen roll ready for the stamping. Trying to get all this in there is not the easiest thing in the world but there we go. Right so I need to try and figure out which part of the plate I'm going to use. So I'm going to see what I've got to work with with these with these nails. I absolutely love how these are turning out. Um, so I'm going to use, I think, for this one, I'm probably going to use this image. And then for this one, I think I'm going to use this image. So we're using these two here. And I'm going to try and get them as much in the shot as possible, but without playing with my camera and making it go all funny and reflective and blurry so i'm just going to clean off my plate first things first make sure that there's no other polish in there or anything at all that's in the way and then i'm just going over my finger to make sure there's no cotton there either and then i've got my stamper at the ready along with my lint roller to clean it off between uses so it's nice and clean and then obviously i've got my if I can open it, my polish and also a scraper handy. Make sure everything is right next to you before you start stamping us. It's going to be difficult to do everything quick enough. So I'm just going to take off the tacky layer of 
the areas I'm going to be stamping, which is obviously what the base coat was for, because if I did this now, that all, all that would be a nightmare. So it's, it's a lot easier doing that. So I'm just going to go straight in, put my polish, that was way too much, but never mind. Put my polish over that. I definitely need to clean my scraper. This is what the image looks like. I've just rolled over my stamper and I'm just going to take off any excess that I don't want on there. And then I'm going to go in with my stamper. So I'm just going to place that over the area where the foil is inside the outline like so. Very cute. And then I'm going to get this. I'm going to do the same thing, but obviously with this image here. So I'm going to clean it off, make sure there's nothing there that's going to be in my way. Clean off the other one while I'm here as well. Go over with my finger to make sure there's no cotton. Pop a little bit of polish on there. 45 degree angle scrape. Roll my stamper over the top. So what the image looks like. Get the excess off. And then place that over where I want it on here. Are we focused? Oh, no. There we go. I'm just going to pop that straight on top of where our foil, our leaf is. And then this is what they look like. Very cute. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do two different types of top coat because I want it to be a mixture between matte and shiny. So I'm going to have the areas with the glitter and foil shiny and I'm going to have the rest of the nail matte. So instead of like painting round stuff, I'm going to paint both nails completely matte and then just do the shiny bits after instead of trying to get it perfect with two different top coats so i'm just going to pop my stamping stuff away and then i'm going to use the gel box uk matte top coat i'm going to place that all over the nail we've got a rogue bit of leaf so i'm placing that over the whole nail including the area that we want shiny Uh, trying to sabotage me. And there we go. Once I'm happy with that and it's all nice and even, I'm going to pop that in the lamp for a full cure. I'm going to do the same thing with this nail. Could have put money on the fact that I wasn't focused. <laughs> And then we're going to pop some top coat, some shiny top coat on that area where the leaf is. There's another hair there. It's probably the same one that I've just removed from the other nail, to be fair. So I'm going to pop that into the lamp for a full cure as well. And then we'll just finish it off with the gloss top coat at the end. So they actually look really cool, like totally matte. I'm really loving that effect, to be honest. Um, but I do want to just pop... The glossy top coat over that area so i'm just going to get the brush out of the bottle first of all to pr just put the majority on and then if i feel like i need to tidy up with a nail art brush i can do that but i do love like a, a mixture of shiny and matte i think it's really effective just being really really careful to only get it where i want it if I do go over the line, it's not a problem. I can use my clean-up brush to just take it off. A little bit more in that corner. And then that's about it, really. That's gone really well, so I don't need to tidy that one up. So I'm going to pop that into the lamp for a full cure. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. This might be a bit harder because it's a little bit slimmer than that one. That's all right. As long as it's not slimmer than the brush itself, it's obviously quite easy. Just going to focus on that top bit and then I'm just putting a bit more pressure on my brush to splay the bristles a bit and there's that so I'm going to top coat I'm going to top coat no I'm not I've already done that I'm going to pop it in the lamp for a full cure and then I will show you what they both look like I absolutely love how these turned out to be honest with you I think these are my favorite that I've done for quite a while I think that base color is just beautiful that builder gel but the um the what's it called really just sets it off that leaf and glitter together so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i'll be back soon with another one bye